Good morning and welcome to the North Island. Welcome! Woohoo! So we arrived yesterday after a fantastic crossing. I was so glad it was so calm. Not a literal wave inside nature that never happens. So I was just like, yes. Yeah, it was really, really peaceful, which is nice. Yeah. And last night we stayed in a marina, which is actually a freedom campsite. It was pretty good. There was flushing toilets. Yeah. Watch out, babe. We're currently walking on a four-wheel drive track. Nearly got run over. We're about to meet, Rach. So we're in Arriara Bay, which is a really cute little coastal town off the coast of Wellington. And we're doing a walk up to a World War II bunker today. And currently we walk through a seal colony or walk near it. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so we may see some seals. Apparently on a really clear day, you can see the South Island just over there. Can't really see it today. Well, we came from yesterday, but it's been overcast today. But yeah, we're excited to kick off the North Island with Yay! a walk. And after this, we'll be heading north. Okay, so a couple more 4x4s just drove past. The one in the front is a Prado. So Toby, if you're watching this, that reminded me of you. Classic Prado. We, uh, we wish we had our ute at the minute. Because <laughs> our, cool. our ranger, aka Mando, would have absolutely loved it. Well, we'd have loved it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I also forgot to say that this morning on our way here, we stopped off at Weta, the Weta Cave, which is where they made a lot of the Lord of the Rings. Special effects. Yeah, yeah. special effects and film sets. So, yeah, you can see some really awesome things to do with like Legolas and the Hobbit, the Hobbit's feet. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, well worth checking out. A big Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, well worth doing. There's a seal on the ground over there. So that behind us, just chilling on the beach back there. That is a seal. Good spot, Rach. Oh, I'm so happy. That was, uh, that was really special. We kept our distance, obviously. And then she's sleeping, <laughs> having a snooze. That was, uh, that was amazing. So just reading this sign, it actually says that leopard seals and orcas visit this coastline, which is, think about it, a little bit scary, but fascinating. This is Devil's Gate, which apparently you can drive over. It's extreme driving hazards. That looks pretty fun to be fair. Okay, those seals were amazing. We even saw a baby seal or a seal pup. That was just amazing. <laughs> and now we are, we've taken a left off the main four x four track and we're heading up this mountain to see a World War II bunker. So for the first proper day in Wellington, it's been pretty amazing so far. Now time to concentrate a bit. Oh, uh, we can do we can do a loop. How are you feeling, Rach? <laughs> Again, very dicey. There is no track. <laughs> is this a good idea? Seriously. You're doing well, babe. Keep going through. Oh, can you grab that please, babe? 
There we go, we're flat now. Whoa, oh God, watch out from the side. Okay, that ascent was pretty steep. I uh, found a beer bottle down at the beach. I picked it up, that was in my backpack and it fell out of my bag and I just stopped it on my foot and Rach got it, thanks Rach. Yeah, then we, as soon as you get over the top, you can't hit anything, so you can't hear the ocean. Like at all, a little bit, a little bit eerie, but we're almost at the top. Well done, Rach. How are you feeling? Uh, oh, bugs. Oh, you alright? You made it. So with the World War II bunkers and observation towers. Well done, Rach. Thanks. God, you can imagine. Turn back the clock, looking out here. It's a real shame that people graffiti the mud, so that's the only thing. Oh, there's Rach again. Wow. Look at that. There's a ship in the distance over there as well, which is an indication. Okay, so that was awesome. Now we need to go back the same way we came. We were thinking of doing the loop. The loop actually goes up that mountain and around. We don't have enough food or water to do that. So we'll see you back in the van. Back in the van now. That was, um, it was quite intense, wasn't it, Rach? Yeah, I liked it, but the hike wasn't overly enjoyable, if I'm honest. There wasn't much I don't trail. like when I feel unsafe on a hike, and that's what it felt like, because there was no track. And it was yeah. very dicey, and it was very high. But overall, the views were really nice. Yeah, overall it was pretty fun. Yeah. I had a good time, a few slips on the, on the way down, but back in the van now, now it's time for some lunch. Well, good morning, so that hike yesterday was pretty Pretty tiring actually. Yeah. <laughs> so we camped on the west coast. So we camped in Queen Elizabeth Park. We actually filmed some of the Lord of the Rings there, which was pretty cool. And now we've driven east and we are actually in a park where they filmed the Rivendell scene. So if you've seen Lord of the Rings, you'll know what Rivendell is. Uh, we are pretty big Lord of the Rings fan. Last night, we're actually watching The Hobbit in the van, <laughs> complete with microwave popcorn and all teasers. teasers. Was so good. So yeah, we're super excited to see Rivendell. It's uh, it's raining here. We got, <laughs> but it kind of adds to the mood. We got the umbrella out, yeah. so it's good. Yeah, it should be fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I am Gimli. I'm Gandalf. So you are the height of Gandalf. I knew I was a wizard. And I am the height of... Aragorn. Obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Legolas is not this. Yeah, Legolas is Rach, that's you, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Rach. Who do you know really tall? Um, <laughs> yeah, what? Michael Jordan? And, and Bob would be Frodo. Bob's Frodo! The Bilbo was? The posed as Legolas in publicity photos for the film. He was right here. This is amazing. So this was built for the fans of the trilogy, which is us. Wow, this is awesome. And Rivendell is... Wicked. Amazing. <laughs> Rivendell's brilliant. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, or even if you're not, 
It's just cool. Worth checking out. They yeah. have little um, pictures on where each of the scenes were filmed, which was amazing. Really cool. And now we're just on a swing bridge next to it. There's a few construction works going on, so we can't do the full loop. Mm. But this is, uh, this is still amazing, even in, even in the rain. I'd imagine the summer, this place is really good yeah. to go swimming. But yeah, the rain kind of gives it that extra layer of moodiness, which actually feels like you're on a film set. Okay, so what we're in at the minute is a living rainforest, which is pretty amazing. So what makes this rainforest is the rain. There is an average of 2.3 meters of rain here per year, and that's compared with 1.2 meters of rain in Wellington. So you can see how much rain actually falls here, and all the plants and trees are competing to get the light. So they're competing with each other, but yeah, it's pretty brilliant, isn't it, Rach? Love a rainforest, it's really cool. Love a rainforest, love a fern as well. <laughs> love some vegetation. And a swing bridge. <laughs> New Zealand loves a swing bridge. Yeah. Hello, so it's been a few days since we last gave an update. Last time we spoke, I think we were walking to the van from Rivendell, which is Quite a strange sentence to say, actually. <laughs> yeah. But that was really, really fun. Mm, that was really amazing. amazing. Yeah. And then we've really taken our time cruising up the middle of the North Island. So we actually stayed for one night in Queen Elizabeth Park, which was also used for Lord of the Rings filming. <laughs> and that was on the west coast. Then we came back to the east coast for Rivendell. This is quickly becoming a Lord of the Rings tour. Yeah, in North Island. which I'm not mad about. At the same time we're watching The Hobbit, <laughs> Yeah. which Rach never seen before. No, so. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, but never actually watched The Hobbit, so it's actually really nice yeah. to, to watch it. Which is really nice. Yeah. Then we have been cruising up the middle. We visited Palmerston North, which was quite fun. That's where mum's from. Shout out mum if you're watching. Yeah, <laughs> shout out. And Rach got some new hiking shoes and yes. I got some hiking poles. Which are very important because <laughs> we're actually going to be doing the Tongariro Alpine Crossing tomorrow, which is one of the best day hikes in the world. That is quoted on all trails. Yeah. So if all trails says it, <laughs> you know. So it's about almost 20 Ks. Um, so it's quite long. They say between seven to nine hours. I think we can do it in sub seven. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And it's over a volcano. Yeah, so it's an just active a, volcano. Yeah, so if you haven't heard of it, well, you'll, you'll see it in the next episode, mm. but it has these bright emerald green emerald pools. Green pools. And yeah, it's a pretty high ascent up the volcano. Mm. And then obviously what goes up must come down. So mm. yeah, they've yeah. kind of warned in all the videos that we've watched and the reviews that we've read to make sure you've got hiking poles, things like that. Cause it can be quite, yeah, intense going down. Um, so yeah, it would be interesting, but it'd be good. I'm excited. Very exciting. Yeah. But we've done quite a lot of prep for this hike. I mean, we actually decided we we're going to do it two days ago. <laughs> yeah. So from... No, to be fair, we'd had it on our list for mm. a while. But we hadn't really Googled it, like no. how to actually do it. You need to actually drive to a car park, get a shuttle to the start, get a shuttle back to your car park. So because there's, there's it, a bit of planning. It, yeah, because yeah. it's point to point. So it's not like a round loop. You actually have to organise transport if you want to go from one end to the other. Um, it's not as simple as just doing the walk and then coming back to your car. You actually have to organise the transport to do it. So, yeah. yeah, It's a pretty serious one. Like all the, well, when we did some shopping in Palmerston North or Palmy. Palmy Proud. Palmy Proud, <laughs> as, they, as they call it. We, like people were asking us what we we're up to. And we're like, oh, we're doing the Alpine Crossing a couple of days. And they couldn't believe we were shopping for shoes for Rach. Yeah. Like, two days like, out. Two days out. <laughs> but we're all prepped. So bags are pretty much packed. Yep. We Got have a lot gels, snacks, snacks yeah. a lot of water, yeah. cameras are charged. We're going to do a wrap up video once it's filmed tomorrow with all of our tips and things like that, that we sort of realize along the way, because I'm sure there's going to be stuff that happens for every single person that's a bit different from other people's walks. So we'll use our experience to obviously do a little video and yeah. Give some wisdom. Yeah. So pass it on to you. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we've done, well, I've personally done carbo loading for two people today, <laughs> well, for the both of us. So we had a um, 
potato, well, I had a potato. George finally had a pie. potato top pie, which is iconic in New Zealand. If you haven't had one, you're missing out. If you're unsure what it is, the name's in the tin. <laughs> it's basically mashed potato on top of a pie. I'm actually so full thinking about it. Um, and then we, had a, we shared a donut, you had a sandwich. Yep. And then I just ran, there's Burger King opposite. <laughs> This, this campground's amazing. We're in Parklands Motor Lodge. There's literally a Burger King, a supermarket. There's a restaurant here. Yeah. It's a bit of a luxury place to stay, but we thought we'd treat ourselves with the hike tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna be pretty exhausted by the time I get, we get back, I imagine. And we had lots of pasta for dinner. Carb loading. Mm, well, I had lots of pasta. Rach had a little bit. <laughs> and we've got a, some leftovers for tomorrow for the hike. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, we are, I'm not even that tired. I'm so excited. I'm also excited to watch The Hobbit. Yeah. The second, second Hobbit. So yeah, we'll wrap things up there. Thanks for watching this episode. It's the start of the North Island. So the adventures will continue. So if you liked if the you video, liked it. give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. For the crossing. For the crossing. So it should be a good one. That'd be a full, full feature video. It's going to be good. Thanks. Bye.